British lawmakers expressing outrage because President Trump retweeted three videos from a far-right anti-Muslim group from the UK. Listen to one member of Parliament slamming the president this morning. This is the president of the United States yeah. sharing with millions yeah. inflammatory and divisive content yeah. deliberately posted to sow hatred and division yeah. by, as the Home Secretary says, a convicted criminal who is facing further charges, who represents a vile fascist organisation seeking to spread hatred and violence in person and online. By sharing it, he is either a racist, incompetent or unthinking, or all three. Stephen Doughty joins us now. Thank you for taking the opportunity, sir. What moved you to uh, make that statement? Uh, I think there's been absolute outrage at the president's sharing of this information. And let's not forget, this is not a, a normal Donald Trump Twitter storm. This is uh, a far-right fascist organisation um, with a convicted criminal who's currently facing further charges in the UK for inciting religious hatred. He has shared um, information from her account, which has clearly been put out to sow uh, religious hatred and to stir up division in Britain and globally. It's an extraordinary thing for a president President of the United States to have done, and he has endured uh, condemnation on all sides today uh, from members of the cabinet, from the prime minister, and from across the House of Commons. The White House says it doesn't matter the source, it doesn't matter even if the videos are authentic, because the threat is authentic, and that is what they call Islamic uh, terror. And the response from the president was, you people over there in the UK should worry about that more, and what he says less your response well i think the president needs to worry about what's happening in the united states more than he's worrying about uh, far-right organizations in the uk and sharing their content um, the fact is that i utterly condemn uh, hatred and extremism and violence from wherever it comes whether it comes from uh, islamist uh, organizations whether it comes from the far right or whether it comes from anti-semitic organizations i'm i'm you know equal in my condemnation of all of those um, but what the president does done here is sharing information from a convicted criminal someone who is currently facing further charges and from a very extreme organization equivalent I would say to the likes of the KKK in the United States um, and it's quite extraordinary for him to be doing that. Um, the woman has been on uh, air herself online overnight um, asking the president to effectively get her out of prison uh, that's an extraordinary situation to be in. The call by a member of parliament for the president of the United States to be arrested on UK soil for spreading religious hate too far? I certainly don't support the president coming here for a state visit. I, I don't know whether he's committed criminal offences. The, uh, the Home Secretary, of course, said that she would you know, keep under review any comments that have been made by anybody and treat them uh, like she would with any individual uh, making allegations or stirring up hatred and, and division. But it's very clear that uh, British lawmakers from all parties, all parts of the House, uh, members of the Cabinet are deeply unhappy at what the president has done. Uh, we would not welcome him here for a state visit. We, of course, want to have cooperation and a relationship with the administration. Uh, you know, I love America, I love Americans. My grandfather was an American GI who came over to fight fascism in the Second World War. Um, and I've traveled across 25 of your fantastic states. Um, and President Trump simply doesn't represent the kind, generous, uh, caring Americans uh, that I know. Well, he was elected president. And in terms of the level of discontent, the prime minister speaking uh, this morning, Theresa May, in response to the president of the United States, let's play a little bit of what she said. But we need to address this issue of the terrorist threat from whatever source it comes, because yes, we have to deal with the Islamist terrorist threat. We also have to deal with the fact that we have seen attacks in the United Kingdom from the far right as well. So we take seriously and deal with terrorism and extremism from whatever its source. Uh, the Prime Minister there seemed to be uh, giving a nod uh, to what you were speaking to, that this woman and her group that the President gave an audience to uh, you see as as much of a threat as Islamic terror in the UK? Absolutely, and let's not forget that uh, one of my colleagues in Parliament last year, Joe Cox, who many of your viewers uh, will have seen the reports of, was murdered by a far-right uh, neo-Nazi individual who, in fact, um, shouted references to the organisation uh, that President Trump has uh, been seemingly endorsing. And obviously, uh, that cuts very, very close. Um, it's extraordinarily ir irresponsible of him to have done so, let alone the fact that we have ongoing criminal proceedings involving this individual. For President Trump to be sharing her information 
information without verification and without thought to the organization or the consequence of doing that is the height of irresponsibility. Now, there is a reason uh, that the president, there are probably several reasons that the president is saying and doing what he does where, when it comes to uh, extreme Islamism and terror. And that is that there are many Americans that are afraid of Muslims. And you have been dealing with as much and more in terms of homegrown and uh, brought in terror from that. Do you sense among your own population that there is a growing resistance to saying it's not all Islam, it's only a little bit, that that is being dismissed as political correctness? Because that is a battle going on here in the United States. Well, I've utterly condemned um, uh, Islamist organizations and those spreading fear and hate purporting to be uh, Muslims. They're not Muslims in my view, nor are they the view of my Muslim constituents in my district in, in South Wales. I have a, a very, very diverse district that I represent, um, and we have had problems with far-right and Islamist extremism and terrorism. But the way to fight that is to by standing united against it and not seeking to divide and further incite fear and hatred, and by supporting and appearing to endorse an organization like Britain First that has nothing but an agenda to demonize all Muslims, uh, all peace-loving and law-abiding Muslims as somehow a cancer, as the uh, deputy leader of that organization has said, is extraordinary.